Hey everyone, Krista Sutton here. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I am an executive coach as well as the co-founder of Ideal Personality. Um, and I wanted to share something with you today really quickly that's that's really been on my heart. Um, it's that time of year and, and you know what, somewhere between Christmas shopping and New Year's resolution, I think that we become more keenly aware with how stressed out and how tired that we feel. I know, I know that I do, definitely. And it's you know, it's not that it's any worse than it is any other time of year. I think we just notice it more now. Um, I've actually had dozens of conversations recently with clients, with friends, with family, and in every single one of these conversations, there's kind of this recurring theme. Um, and, and that recurring theme is that when we find ourselves in this place, in this space of being overwhelmed and feeling like we're burning the candle at both ends, is that the first thing that goes out the window is our self-care. I mean, can I get an amen? I'm not the only one, right? Um, you'd think that we would ramp up our self-care when we get a little extra stressed and have a little bit of extra things that are on our plate, but actually the exact opposite is true. We get so focused on the people in our lives that we're serving and loving on, you know, the people that we care about and all the activities um, that, that, that surround those people that we put, our, put ourselves on the back burner and then things just kind of get worse from there. So what happens is when we don't take care of ourselves, obviously we know that we're stressed, we can feel a little depressed, we get exhausted, um, but that leads to some more detrimental health stuff for us, both mentally and physically. Actual physical illnesses come from not taking care of ourselves. Who'd have thought, right? Um, so what do we do about it? What do we do about it? We do nothing. <laughs> we just keep on keeping on. I, I don't know about you, but I found myself doing that for a long time. And, and trust me, I am, I am, preaching to the choir here because let me tell you something, I know this better than anybody else. Last April, um, after years of neglecting myself and not taking proper care of myself, my mind, body, and soul were done. And I mean like done. Um, I, I struggled to, to show up and to be present um, in my day for about an hour. And, and uh, after that hour was up, man, you guys, I was faking it. I was exhausted. I was just so tired and I had such horrible brain fog and I, I just, I felt like I was winging it all the time. And you guys, the people that I love and the career that I poured my heart and my soul into were suffering. They were suffering because I just couldn't. Um, and then an angel in the form of my naturopath came into my life and started this, this journey um, this journey of, of self-care and what that looked like um, to me and for me and what it could do for me. Um, here's what I learned. Here's what I learned um, when I started this journey back in April. I learned that number one, self-care is a lifestyle. It is not an activity. And I think so many of us get caught up in the, you know, go get a mani or a pedi or go get a massage and that self-care. And not that it isn't. I mean, it, it can be a piece of the puzzle for many of us, but there's so much more. Um, the second thing that I learned, which was so huge for me, is that self-care affects your mind, your body, and your spirit. All of us are mind, body, and spirit, and if we don't take care of ourselves in one area, we might as well not take care of ourselves in any area because each of them impact the other heavily. That was a big eye-opener for me. The third thing that I learned about self-care is that there's a formula for successful self-care, and everyone's is unique. That was a really big takeaway for me because I really just thought it was go get a book and do what the book says, but we all have different wiring. Um, we all have different um, lifestyles and needs and, and things that we like. And I mean, the possibilities are absolutely endless. It just seems a little hard to navigate it sometimes. And fourth, I learned that in order to experience real, long lasting self-care success, it took time, it took patience, and it took a team. So if any of this clicks with you, if any of this resonates with you, then I would love to invite you to join me um, and my special guests, Dr. Cynthia Renee. Yes, that's my rock star naturopath that I still credit her with saving my life. She's awesome. Um, and the certified brain health coach, the beautiful Aspen Morrow. We would love to have you join us on our self-care made simple five day jumpstart. We're going to start this December 3rd. Um, together, the three of us are coming together in this group to help you understand the effects of both stress and rest on your brain, to help you learn how your brain uses energy, as well as how that affects you mentally and physically and spiritually. Um, also, to help learn your unique wiring, 
That way you can identify, we can help you identify the different self-care tools and the activities that are gonna give you the best results possible for you. Um, and then last but not least, creating the space in your day to make it all happen. It's so easy to, to think, oh, well, that sounds great, Krista, but you don't know my schedule. Well, guess what? You didn't know mine. Um, very, very crazy, crazy busy work from home mom, three different uh, career uh, areas, um, as well as um, eight grandkids and six kids and holy cow. Um, trust me, when, when you talk about a busy, busy full life, I know what you're talking about. I was able to, to find a way to create space in my day for three hours of daily self-care. And we're just asking you to find one hour a day. So trust me, if I did it, anyone can do it. So the investment to work with the three of us individually, you guys, it's in the thousands. But we decided to come together and make this available to you to have access to the three of us for only a small investment. You guys, it's only 27 bucks. So we don't want money to be a reason that you can't take care of you. So for only 27 bucks, um, we would love to invite you again to our self-care made simple five day jumpstart. Just click on the link below. Um, that will get you signed up and take you over to the Facebook page so you can join that as well. We're gonna start a conversation this coming Monday, November 26th, and then December 3rd, this whole thing kicks off. So please, Feel free to, to share this with anybody that's popping in your head right now that you know this would benefit. Um, we do have limited uh, space though, so make sure to get it done ASAP. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and hope to see you guys in the 